All right, today we're gonna to be talking about that number one afternoon pattern and I think the best way to trade as a new trader. All right, welcome back everyone. I am lead trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen. And you know, you've know, you often heard me talk about the 945 rule. I really think it is one of the safest way to trade as a newbie trader. And I'm doing this video, something we talked about a lot on the uh, Stocks Trade or Steady Trade team this morning. I do a webinar twice a day, every single trading day. I've done over 3,500 in six years now. Uh, definitely click the link below, check it out. But, you know, we talked a lot about it, and I wanted to bring it to YouTube, too, because I think it was great discussion. Bring it while, you know, it's still fresh in my mind. And, you know, a lot of people are like, Tim, you know, all you, all you say is wait, wait, wait. And... I get it, it can, you know, I, I teach a very conservative style of trading. And something I always say is, what I teach and the methodology that I use is trading the most volatile stocks in the safest manner possible, okay? And what that does, I, I truly, truly believe it is the best way to learn trading and grow a small account. Because what we're trying to do, okay, listen, the reason we love penny stocks, we love the reason we love 100, 200 thousand percent runners is that's how you need to move the needle on your account. Okay, listen, I love Apple. Okay, I love Amazon. Okay, a couple of the two biggest companies in the world. If you quote unquote love them and trade them, I mean, a big day for Apple is like a one percent move. I mean, listen, if Apple moves two percent, CNBC will explode. Like every talking head lunatic on that network will be screaming like it's the greatest thing ever because Apple moved 2%, okay? Listen, that's great, it's great. Maybe you make 10, 12 bucks a share, okay? You know, I mean, if you got 10 shares with a small account, hey, it's great, 100 bucks, you know, you can't complain. But we trade these huge movers because now you can have a couple hundred shares of a $2 stock that proceeds to go to five or 10 or something, now you're talking $500, $1,000, okay? That actually moves the needle in your account. Now, what people screw up is they get too aggressive, okay? So they see these big movers, but then they take too much size, overstay, you know, they hope the stock's going to 20 or 100 or 1,000 or, you know, I mean, listen, I mean, we we all remember it from 2020 when people were saying, you know, like GameStop at AMC, going to 1,000, going to 100. It's like, come on, I mean. Now, listen, if you traded and had realistic goals on AMC and GameStop, they were incredible trading vehicles. But 1,000 or 100, come on, you know, but that's why so many people fail and that's why so many people get stuck. So what I wanna talk about is the best trade from yesterday, TBLT, okay? So this is the chart I'm gonna be looking at right here. And the reason I bring up TBLT, if you've followed me for a while, you know I hate this stock. I mean, it's the worst company in the world. Look up their products. They make like the the, the cheesiest like protect construction protective gear and toolboxes. Like, like no actual contractor would ever be seen dead with this stuff. I mean, it's like they make like It'd be like the Ken and Barbie protective gear for, for Bar the Barbie movies coming, you know. The Ken and Barbie edition, or like Fisher Price there. It's like, I look at this stuff, it's like it's like the, the Fisher Price construction and in in protective gear that you'd buy for like your six year old kid while he's out there with this plastic hammer, you know, hammering on his swing set, okay. Anyway, terrible company, trash, always a one and done. But what I talked about yesterday morning was afternoon confirmation. And again, if you were there live, you knew I drew this, I drew this at like 9 a.m., okay? And what I'm gonna walk you through is that VWAP hold high a day break afternoon pattern, which I think is the best pattern for new traders. So I know you can't read this, I write fast when I'm on the whiteboard, but this is an example of what I break down on these webinars, okay? So you can see this, well, you can't see. <laughs> this says VWAP hold high a day break, okay? This is the ticker, TBLT. And then what you're looking at is the green line is the stock price, yellow is VWAP, the vertical line is 12 p.m. Okay, it says after 12 p.m. And then what we look for when I talk about that afternoon confirmation is above VWAP and then perks into the afternoon, that's the go, okay? We talk about the go pattern. Actually, it's funny, I talk about go, no go, often, you know, Matt, uh, Matt Monaco, 
calls it the gun pattern. I call it the VWAP hold high day break. A lot of different names for this, but another good way to talk about this is, is that go no go. So what I'm denoting here is if we go into the afternoon and the stock is below VWAP, it's a no go. You let it go. Okay, TBLT is trash. Listen, by the time you watch this video, TBLT will probably be all the way back at a dollar. Okay, like if you catch this video a week or so from now. I mean, it's a one and done, it's a terrible company. But what we look for is that, notice the stock is above VWAP into the afternoon and then perks post 12 p.m. into that 2 p.m. window that we also talk about. And you can see that reflected here, 11.50 a.m., okay? I mean, I know it's not noon, but come on, cut me some slack, it's 10 minutes to noon. So you can see stock chops around at VWAP, spikes on the biggest volume candle of the day, and pushes through all the high of day. If you would have targeted that area in the 385 or four level, uh, went all the way up to 520, gap to 560 even today. Now you probably wouldn't have held into this pullback in the afternoon, but you can see that is exactly what I talk about when it comes to afternoon, price action confirmation and volume confirmation in a trash stock, like the worst stock in the world. But everyone's trying to guess tops. That's why it spikes, that's why it spiked this morning. I mean, TBLT was a dip and rip this morning at 520, went to 565. I mean, 30, 40, 50 cents of upside, not a terrible dip and rip either. And you can trade these, okay? Listen, don't think that GameStop's going to 1,000. Don't think that AMC's going to 100. And don't think that TBLT is going to 10 or anything else, you stupid crap you read on the internet. But if you trade these high a day breaks, you have 50 cent goals, you have 60 cent goals, maybe a dollar a share, depending on the three to one risk to reward methodology that I teach, you can consistently profitably and consistently and profitably trade these things. And listen, think about back, I'll finish on the no-go, okay? As a new trader, okay? Staying out of, never, ever, ever underestimate the value of staying out of trouble. And I define staying out of trouble as, you know, those big losses, okay? Listen, if TBLT failed yesterday, cracked below VWAP at 11.50 a.m. instead of breaking the high a day, it would be a no-go, you wouldn't trade it, you would have went home flat that day, okay? People send me a lot of t-shirts, I appreciate it. Like another t-shirt I need to get made is, I'd rather be flat than red, okay? And you have to have that philosophy, okay? As especially as a new trader, people want to over trade too much and have that mindset that going home flat at 4 p.m. isn't a bad thing, okay? Let's say you've got $5,013 in your account today. Going home at $5,013 is not a bad thing. What's bad is going home at $3,990 cuz you traded a crappy pattern and you lost 1000 bucks on a $5,000 account. Okay? Losing 100 bucks, okay? Losing 100 bucks is a realistic loss. I mean, losing is part of trading, but staying out of trouble and deciding that listen, I'm gonna focus on the best patterns, the best afternoon patterns. I'm gonna look for this pattern that repeats and repeats and repeats and is in the ebook. If you check out Stocks Trade Advisory, we'll link that below. You get the ebook with it, okay? You get webinars, you get a week, a monthly report, you get a weekly watch list, and you get the ebook. Stocks and Trade Advisory, click the link. Get it! Anyway, flat isn't a bad thing, especially as a new trader, okay? If you focus on the best opportunities, you minimize your losses, or a lot of days you just go home with no trades, and that is a good thing. You need to build discipline, and you need to build good habits. The best way to do that is focusing on the top five favorite patterns that are in that ebook. All right, everyone, TBLT, again, this pattern just repeats and it repeats and it repeats. I mean, one of the best plays today, ADXN. I mean, yes, it didn't break the high day at noon, but it broke it at 10 a.m. I mean, look at anything look familiar, okay? Right there, 10.02 a.m. Anything look familiar to that whiteboard? Big gap in pre, consolidates at VWAP, spikes a high day on high volume. Look at this thing, goes from buck 60 to 250, and I'm recording at 11 a.m. This thing's probably not done, okay? You've seen this, hopefully you've seen this pattern. It repeats and it repeats and it repeats. Maybe not every day, three days a week, four days a week, there is this pattern and they repeat and it's the number one you should be focusing on as a new trader. 
All right, everyone, check out Stocks Trade Advisory, check out the Steady Trade team, and we'll see you next time.